Welcome. In front of me is a Arcus Core 57S and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now as you can see uh, the phone in front of me is clearly locked and uh, to get started with the bypass you will need to have connection to Wi-Fi. Uh, I already have connected that's kind of how I can see that it is locked. But once you connect to Wi-Fi all you need to do really is go back to the first page. So I'm gonna right now back away to the first page right here and from here you want to select vision settings and tap on talkback and now before I actually enabled I will mute it so it won't be talking over me uh, so let's just mute this this and this and this will basically prevent me from hearing the talkback uh, dialogue right here so uh, now you can mute it if you want it or keep it. It won't really change much um, But from there you want to enable it right like so confirm it by tapping on OK and it, Well, if you didn't mute it, it will start talking to you uh, explaining what talkback is uh, Disregarding that it will also open this window right here and on this page all you need to do is draw an L on the screen like so. This will bring up the Gobo context menu and from here you want to tap on talkback settings. So you want to tap on it once to select it and then double tap it to confirm it. And whoops, and this will take you the settings right over here. And from here, what you want to do is actually disable the talkback because we can't really scroll as you can see. So you do it by holding volume up and volume down. Then tap on OK to confirm that. And now we can and now we can scroll as you can see. So from here, scroll all the way down to help and feedback. And from there, tap on get started with voice access. And here I advise you to uh, pause the video uh, on every uh, link that I click because it might take you a second to find it. Uh, you will be looking primarily for the blue text and at the start we're looking for change Google app settings which is right over here so that is uh, right below the step one at the very end of it uh, then next page uh, tap on the general to expand it and you're gonna look for search results from your Google uh, products so there we go search results from your Google products now look for turn off web and app activity so there it is it's under well turn off or turn search off so I just select the text right here then look for delete activity manually so it's right over here Oh, let me quickly zoom it and the screen Maybe we can okay so once we selected the delete activity manually uh, you're looking for a map timeline and I think that is somewhere like right at the bottom almost oh no there it is it's almost in the middle so map timeline and this will open up well the map obviously from here select skip and then select the back And now tap on the circle with an arrow for navigation. Then choose starting point. You can select it to be your location or you can insert some kind of specific location if you want to. Let's confirm it. And then choose destination. Um, I'm just gonna write KFC. Um, let's also make it Krakow. Uh, that is so it actually is, it can find the directions. Um, so once it finds the directions, uh, you see that you have a start uh, option right over here. So select it, it will give you a pop-up right here. Um, 
So I just select got it. I'm sure if it's starting or not. Okay, it is starting, just taking a while. So once it's started, what you wanna do is tap on the microphone and say open Google. Now this device is fairly slow, so hopefully this will work fairly well. Open Google. I think it worked. Okay, yeah, it did work. So that's nice. So from here, we don't want to log in, so say no thanks. And in the search bar, you want to type in Chrome. So H or CH uh, brings it up. So it's the Chrome application. Once you select it, uh, let's then choose accept and continue. And again, and no thanks, we don't want to sign into Google. Um, and once it loads it up, tap on the search bar right over here and navigate to hard reset that info. Like so. And now I'm gonna tap on the three bars right over here and choose the download category. Once you're in the download category, tap on a field. And now type in Android 7.1.2. And let's search for it. There should only be uh, one result. And there it is. So bypass FRP Android 7.1.2 and also 10. Click on the download, scroll down, and you'll have the download link right over here. Now I do advise you to hold this link and open it up in incognito, like so, and continue, allow, and okay. So we can start the download. Now I advise you to do this way because somehow sometimes downloading it normally causes it to basically be stuck at 100% and opening it incognito will resolve that problem. Once it's done downloading, click on the open. Uh, if it disappears like it did for me right now before you manage to click it, you can access it also by tapping on the three dots and going to the downloads. And from here, selecting the application itself. Now, before we can actually install it, we will need to go into the settings and allow from unknown or enable unknown sources right here. So unknown sources, enable it, confirm it by tapping on OK and simply go back and then tap on next and install. And from here, let's select open. Okay, so we can go back now. Go back once more, uh, once more. Uh, once more. There we go. And now in the search bar, uh, let's change the search for settings. So simply type in settings. Like so. And again, download it and install it. Now, once this is done downloading and installing, open it. And this will obviously open up settings. So we're gonna start off by going into the security section. So security right over here. And then you have the device administrator selected. Find my device, tap on it and deactivate uh, the device administrator. And there we go, now it's deactivated. So let's go back, uh, let's go back once more. Now I'll mention that if you go back uh, too far, it will take you back to the web browser and to get back into the settings, you will need to reinstall the app. So simply tap on the three dots in the browser, go to the download category and tap on the settings APK to reinstall it. And then once it's installed, open it again and continue from where you kind of left off. 
So once we have disabled the administrator, you want to now go to the apps right over here. Then tap on three dots and go to show system and scroll down to G. Okay, so there we go. We're now under G and we're looking for Google Play services. There we go. Choose to uh, disable Google Play services. And once you have disabled it, go back. And go back. And now navigate into accounts. Tap on add account. Choose Google. Give it a moment. Now I'll now start off saying that if you don't have a Google account, you can create one. Um, on your computer, that's where I would per, uh, advise you to do it. Once you have created it, simply use it to log in right over here on your phone. And uh, you can create an account specifically just for this purpose if you want to, just as a trash email uh, to unlock the device and forget about it. Or you can use your personal, it doesn't really matter. Um, so once you have the email, you can then insert it right in here. Step on next. And now put in your password, and I'm going to put in mine. And from there, choose next. Uh, so we have welcoming terms of service, let's agree to it. And as you can see, uh, the app will now start crashing. It doesn't matter at this point, it allowed us to add the Google account. Um, this is basically the sole purpose of the uh, FRP app that we have downloaded as the first app. So let's just top off the screen and disregard it. I want to go back to apps again and re-enable the Google Play services that we have disabled. So again, tap on the show system, scroll down to G. There is Google Play Services, tap on it, choose Enable, and go back. Once you've enabled it, let's hold Power key and select Restart. So as you can see, it brings up the TalkBack settings. So let's just kind of disregard this and go back. Now we need to disable it first, so volume up and volume down. Yep, suspend it, and now we can go back. Okay, so now let's just proceed through the setup. Let's skip this. Now at this moment in time, you want to basically skip through most of the setup as much as you can, because it won't really matter what we have uh, what we will set up here uh, we still need to perform a reset of the device so i'm gonna basically be skipping as much as i am able to and key difference that you can see right here is the the info that tells us account added and provides us with the account that we have added right before the reboot of the device this is previously the screen that would tell us to verify the Google account and right now it thinks that we have added the account so we can simply tap on next so let's choose not now skip anyway set up later let's go to next and I think that's it yep so we're now on the home screen from here, let's go into the settings. So, settings. Scroll all the way down to backup and reset. Factory data reset. Reset phone. And erase everything. And this will begin unlocking your device. So this will take again us well, some time probably like 10 minutes or so and once it's finished we'll be greeted with the android setup screen again 
and at that point you can set up your device as however you like it will be fully unlocked so you can add your google accounts uh, you can add protections and do whatever you want so i'll be back once we're done with the reset And as you can see now the process is finished so we can now set up our device as however we like. Now again once more I'm gonna go through the setup process fairly quickly just to save on time but you can clearly see that it won't have any any kind of protection anymore so I can basically skip majority of the things. Um, so starting off I should be able to skip Wi-Fi connection which normally would not be possible if the device would be still locked. And there we go. So that is how you would bypass the Google verification on Arcus Core 57S. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.